Hey guys, this is Jaybird here, and welcome to Jaybird Gaming. And uh, today I will be bringing you guys a, a new series or a little new thing that I'm going to be starting on my channel called Is It Worth It? And basically what I'm going to start doing on this uh, series or on this playlist is I'm going to be reviewing games that a lot of people sleep on. And basically I'm going to give you guys my opinions on it and like, and like, I'm going to basically say whether or not I think it is worth purchasing or you know playing in general and so yeah I look forward to doing this series I got big things planned for this series I, I mean because there's a lot of games that I feel like are very underrated and should be getting a lot of more credit than what they should like NBA Live 18 and uh I know a lot of people uh throw shade on NBA Live simply because the past few games have not been that great and the reason why is the graphics. The graphics just aren't there. Like they aren't, the graphics aren't as good as they should be. And like, I feel like the only thing that's holding NBA Live 18 back from being a fantastic game is the fact that the graphics aren't as good as 2K's. And a lot of people only like, I mean like, I feel like that's where 2K has the upper hand. I feel like that's where they are better than uh, NBA Live simply because you know the graphics but if I'm being completely honest with you I feel like NBA Live they have better animations not just like the animations they ain't beating them with animations by far because if they were a lot more people would play NBA Live 18 than they do but I mean I feel like they have the slight edge over 2k with the animations and I say that because on NBA Live they're just things that you see on there that actually looks legit like you actually like see in real life like you see like the passes they make on here are just somewhere so much more crisp and like steals and and in defense in general are just better like it's just it looks so much better on NBA Live than it does on 2k and see like that fillet or not fillet but that reverse layup that Clay Thompson just did I mean I know that's kind of like not realistic but I mean it just looks so crisp and fluid, you know? And so that's why I say if, if like, NBA Live had better, like, graphics than what they do, dear God, it, it would be a fantastic game, one of the greatest ga basketball games that I feel like we'd ever have. Simply because, you know, the, like, it's just different than 2K. Because, like, like, whenever you're playing NBA Live, it gives you that, you know, it gives you that EA Sports type feel. Like, you're actually watching it like uh, NBA game but whenever you're playing 2k it's like you're actually playing 2k if that makes any sense but by the way guys I am playing on rookie difficulty so that's why I'm you know making all this crazy stuff and the reason why I'm playing on rookie is so I can show you guys the animations like I want and see like that's still right there it was just so like in that pass even though I did turn it over but I mean like but that's still in like the past like how he tried to curve it in there like that's really what they like that looks legit and like the steals they're just so much on like like they're just so much more fluid and like they're flo so much like it looks like a legit steal on 2k your body can be going through the ball and you glitching all through the ball and all kind of stuff on NBA live they don't do that the the steals are crisp like they're real steals like they're legit steals and defense in general, I just feel like even the blocks are better on NBA Live. And before, and then like, they even have girl, the WNBA. And they're, like, they even feature the WNBA. And I feel like that's really cool. And like I said earlier, the only thing that's holding them back from being great is, you know, the graphics. Because I feel like that, like the animations and everything, like that, and one. Like, that was a really nice and one by Candace Parker. But like I said earlier, the graphics, they're just not there yet. And that sucks because, I mean, NBA Live has the potential to be one of the greatest basketball games of all time, like I said. But, I mean, the graphics aren't there yet. Hopefully they can get this stuff up together in NBA Live 19. But, yeah, let's get back to this OKC versus Golden State gameplay. We're putting a real bad beating on them. <laughs> they haven't even scored yet. And uh, they're probably going to put some points up on. Yeah, they got some points. But, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, the animation just looks so much more fluid. 
Like I've been saying fluid a lot and crisp. I've been saying crisp a lot too, but I just feel like I don't know. It's just different. And then the cross ups, I like like I feel like they could do better with the uh cross up well, I like with the crossovers and the dribble moves. I like the little uh package they give you, but I kinda like I was hoping they'd add a little more. Like there's not I mean they have some good dribble moves, don't get me wrong, but the variety of dribble moves that they have is not there. And um so yeah, that's not good. But other than that, all the other animations are great. Cause I I mean if I'm being honest with you, I think the the dribbling animation is good too. I just wish they had more dribble moves than what they do. But like but I like the dribble, like, oh, and like crossing, like, I just crossed Sean Livingston on the move shot, bang, let's go. But that was like, dribble moves like that, it's cool. I know they had that on 2K as well, but I mean, it just looks so good to be able to rock somebody. And like, they legit get rocked, and you know, the crowd gets intense. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I feel like 2K had, see like, that block right there, that was a legit block, and it looked real, like, he made real solid contact. And, but like, Dang, what was I just talking about earlier? Dang, I was just saying something about before the. It might have no, it went in the block because I already was talking about the blocks way earlier. Oh, I see. I turned it off. Dang, I forgot what I was even talking about. Man, I do not remember. But anyways, that's the end of the first quarter. We're up 13-2 against Golden State. And by the way, guys, if this is on rookie, so I mean, don't be surpri surprised if we blow them out by 50. <laughs> but I'm only playing on rookie because it's not really that serious. It's a quick game. I'm just trying to show you guys all the different animations and stuff. Oh yeah, ankle breaking. That's what we're, that's what we were talking about. Uh, don't get me wrong, the ankle breaking on 2K is not all that bad. It's like, it looks good as well. I feel like they did good on that too. But I mean, NBA Live, I'm not saying they have better like ankle breaker animations, but it definitely gives you that feel that like you just took that guy's ankles and like you just destroyed that man. But I mean, 2K does as well, so I'm not gonna give NBA Live the upper hand on that part. But hopefully I can let me see if I can watch Steph Curry. You know, gotta win the pump fake. Oh, and see like see like passes like that you just can't do on 2K. Like they just don't look as good as they do on NBA Live. And like cause that's a pass that Westbrook really would do and it looks legit. And like the steals, like how they actually poke the ball out and like they fight for steals. And like it's just so like that steal by Westbrook, that was a crisp steal by uh Westbrook. He's on the fast break. Nice bounce past the mellow. And one. It's just crazy like how deep into the animations they went. Like on a scale from one to ten on animations, I feel that I feel like they at least got a like eight and a half at least. And that's crazy because I mean the animations on this game is great. But on graphics Oh god graphics. <laughs> on graphics I have to give them a like a four, maybe a five, six at the most. Not even that, probably like a five and a half. And like, the reason is because like the graphics is, the graphics should be way better than this. I mean, come on NBA Live, you had a few years to fix your mistakes. Still haven't, I mean, you're, you're I mean, they're, like, I'm not gonna lie, NBA Live 18 is definitely a better game than what the past few NBA Lives have been. Don't get me wrong. The pack. see oh and see like that block by KD like that's a legit block. He went up for the dunk. He got that thing sent back and it's crazy. And oh Steven Adam comes back with a block of his own. And like it's just stuff like that. It's like the little things that matter. But I mean a lot of other people, like a bunch of people really don't care about, you know, like the simple things, you know. And like and I like and what I was saying about the the small things or whatever. A real thing that or like a really cool feature that I feel like NBA Live put on there that really just outdid 2K was the halftime show and the post game show. Like for and it had the like the Sports Center theme and it had the top five or the top three or something like that. And I just feel like they did an amazing job with that. 
And 2K, I mean, they have the, you know, Shaq and Ernie and all those guys. But it's just not the same as, you know, having that sports center, you know, that ESPN feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the halftime show on NBA Live, it actually seems like you're really watching an NBA game. On 2K, the halftime show is like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just not the same, I'm telling you. <laughs> But I mean, I like the halftime show on 2K, but I'm just not gonna sit there and watch the halftime show for 2K. But on NBA Live, you like it actually makes you wanna sit down, you know, watch the halftime show and the post game show or whatever. And like actually watch, cause like, I like seeing, like I personally like seeing the top plays and the player of the half. Like, I mean, I think that's just cool. I mean, I feel like that's a really cool feature, but I think it might just be me. Because, I mean, not a lot of people even watch the halftime. They usually just skip right on past it. But, I mean, I just feel like, I don't know. It, like, I feel like the halftime show and all that stuff has a major part to do with the success of NBA Live. Even though they haven't really got too much clout. Because, I mean, right now, if I had to choose between 2K and NBA Live, I'd choose NBA 2K. Simply because 2K... The graphics, it's the graphics, man, I'm telling you. Graphics are everything's, it's like everything in games, I'm telling you right now. If you if you have a, like, if the game has bad graphics, then then there's like a, a seven and a half chance, seven out of, seven out of, uh, seven and a half ch out of ten chance that it's not going to be that good. And that's what, that's why it sucks that the graphics on NBA Live 18 aren't that good, because I mean... I personally feel like like 2K, I mean not like 2K, but NBA Live is a really good game. It's just, like I said, it's just not there with the graphics, man. And that's not good. And see, like the top three plays, like that's cool. Like Westbrook dunking on Draymond Green, that's that's cool. That's really cool, you know. And like the block by, I think that might have been Ferguson. I'm not even sure. And then the fast break dunk on, uh, might have been Nick Young. Yeah, I think that's who it was. And so basically what they're saying is Westbrook's been on fire this whole game. And the buzzer beater three was the number one play of the half. And like, see, it's just like this, like, I don't know, it's just, and what, like that pass right there, it was simply amazing. Like, you can't, you don't, like, you simply can't make passes like those on, like, on, two, on 2K. They just won't allow it. Cause the animations don't go as into, into depth as much as NBA Live does, but and see like that layup by Curry, like it went over the top of the backboard almost, and like that's really how his layups are. And I mean, like 2K, like I'm not gonna lie, 2K is the better game simply because the graphics are better. But I feel like if NBA Live would at least took a little bit of more time to you know kind of improve the graphics it'd been 10 times as better as a game if not i think it would have been better than 2k if if nba live improves their graphics i personally feel like nba live would be better than 2k and then like the storyline it's not that bad it's not bad at all really like i mean you got the uh nick howard or whatever like, it sucks that they don't really talk about him that much towards, you know, the middle of it. Like, they really don't talk about him at all. And then, like, like after, like, after the rise part, it's just, they don't even speak about it. Like, really, it's just playing. And, like, I don't, the story mode wasn't terrible. But it wasn't as good as, that, as it could have been. And see, like, the, this pull-up three by Curry... That's like a legit Curry three. I mean, that's like how he really shoots his threes. I mean, he's like, it's so, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, they went so into depth with the animations that it's just freaking simply not even human. <laughs> and like, and um, what I, what I was saying about the story mode is like, like, it's not bad. Like, the story mode isn't bad at all. I just feel like they could have, uh, you know, went a little farther with it. Because it's like, basically, after you finish the rise, that was basically it. That was basically the end of the story mode. 
basically. But I mean, they tried to give you glimpses of, glimpses of you know, story like like glimpses of like a storyline here and there. But I mean, it just was it like, and then like a thing that I really like, like I really enjoyed about the story mode is like how they had the first take on there. That was that was amazing. I like how they did that. That that the, that part right there on the whole story mode that deserves a ten out of ten. Way to be creative. But like it seems like after you finish the rise, they didn't even do that anymore, and that sucked. But like on the rise, they had the uh, the first take with St Stephen A. Smith and, and that, and th I thought that was just freaking amazing. That was incredible how they did that. It really gives you that feel that you're actually in the game. I guess well, that's why they call it NBA Live. I guess. <laughs> no, but um, and then like on NBA Live, you can put your face in the game, and I thought that was pretty cool. And then like, but you can do that on 2K too, so I'm not even gonna uh, like, act like they got the upper hand on that part, because you can do that on 2K. And like, basically what the whole point of this whole series is, is it worth buying? Or is it worth just playing in general? And uh, and if you ask me, I personally feel like NBA Live 18, is worth playing now I don't agree with the price you would have to like pay for it like I think it might be forty dollars right now but I don't think it's worth forty dollars to be honest like maybe thirty dollars at the most thirty dollars but forty dollars I'm just not seeing that cuz I mean it's just not that good of a game it's not forty dollars good of a game simply because the graphics but like that's like their only downfall and then the story mode it doesn't really go into it doesn't go into much depth as they do on 2k but the majority like the the moral of the story is NBA Live 18 is worth playing at the right price or like if you just I know on PlayStation, if you have PlayStation Plus, it is like a sale for like $6 or whatever. And I think that's a great deal for this game. And I think you really should check it out. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jaybird here. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of Is It Worth It? Uh, please leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. This is Jaybird, and um, I'm out.